Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we're going to be making skulls. 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 We are going to make these electroformed copper skulls from this plastic Halloween skull and show every step in between. Let's get started and turn that plastic into metal. After the skull is disassembled, we will need to figure out the surface area. We will do this by covering it with tape. Now remove the tape and rearrange it into a rectangle. Measure that rectangle to calculate the surface area. An accurate surface area measurement is very important in electroforming as it determines how much current to use during the electroforming process. 20.5 square inches, remember this. Now cover the entire outer surface with conductive paint. A good surface here will guarantee a smooth electroformed copper surface later. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. And if there's a video that you'd like to see made or a technique demonstrated, please put it in the comments below. Some paint on the inside of the eyes and mouth will help the copper electroformed layer to adhere to the skull. Now reassemble and check for any missed spots. Moving right along, your plastic skull is now officially conductive and it's time to add the hang wires. I'm adding them at several points to assure complete electroformed copper plating. This will give you a more even surface thickness. Later, when fully plated, I will replace them with a simple hang wire. I am covering the submerged hang wires with silicon tubing. This will prevent them from robbing current from the skull being electroformed, resulting in a thicker, more consistent plating. Coming up a little later, a metal skull. Now it's time to calibrate our power supply. Use the guide 0.1 amps per square inch to decide what amperage to use. We will be finishing at 2 amps, but wait, in order to plate the conductive paint, we will have to start low and slowly raise the current until it's fully plated over about an hour or two. Submerge the skull in the electroform bath and start the current off at 0.1 amps then check frequently. It's been 20 minutes at 0.1 amps and we have a little bit of coverage. I'm gonna raise the current to 0.3 and check again in about a half an hour. I've been checking and increasing the current every 30 minutes and we are now at the two hour mark at 0.9 amps. The electroformed copper plating layer is still very thin. I am going to take it out to inspect as it is a good time to correct any issues with the electroformed surface. Later in this video, ElectroClean. Let's start by removing the hang wires. Inspect thoroughly as this should be the last time it's taken out of the bath before it's completely electroformed. I'm going to use a burnisher to cover small holes. Make sure it's thoroughly dry before adding any conductive paint on larger areas that aren't fully plated. All of our projects are made using Electro Jeweler Jordan's Electroform Small Tank Recipe along with Lustro Electro Brightener. Brightener curious? I changed the hang wire and I am putting the copper plated skull back into the electroform bath, this time at the full 2 amps. 15 hours later and wow, they look great, so bright. Those skulls are wearing their full metal jackets. This is the part that I love about electroforming, it's so rewarding. It's time for a little bit of cleanup at the bench. First the file, you can also use sandpaper. Don't go too deep and ruin the electroform layer. Now for a rubber wheel and then some Tripoli compound on a brush. The Tripoli will smooth out any rough spots and give you a nice pre-polish. Keep watching for a two-toned patina. Over at the bench top polisher, we're gonna first do a Tripoli on a brush, then a Tripoli on a buff, and finally a Red Rouge final polish. Before going to the next step, thoroughly clean with a strong degreaser. Now the copper electroform skulls can go to the next step. One of them will be nickel plated and the other given a patina. Both will now be electro cleaned. This is a very quick process. After electro cleaning only handle with gloves, any dirt will spoil the surface. Now we are going to nickel plate. It is a very fast process taking only about 5 to 10 minutes. If you are already electroforming, then nickel electroplating is a really great process to add to your skill set, especially if you want to add gold or silver plating to your repertoire. I am using Lustro Electro Bright Nickel Mix and Lustro Electro Nickel Brightener for all my projects. On to the selective silver plating where I will just silver plate the skulls, pumpkin hat, and base. Silver plating only takes a few minutes. Now dip in the top and bottom for 45 seconds, careful not to touch the surface. We are going to do a two-tone plating. This patina will only color the silver layer and leave the nickel patina free. Add 5 to 6 ml to a liter of warm water and dip the piece in it. You can see the recipe in this video. Crazy, right? It's also the perfect patina for copper.
For this two-tone patina, we will use the patina right out of the bottle. Just brush it on, being careful not to get any on the parts that you want to keep patina free. In another video, I will show you how to remove any unwanted patina quickly and easily. I think this looks so cool. Now for a quick brass brushing to even the patina out. To protect the patina, let's apply a coat of Jewelers Paste Wax. Instructions on making this can be seen in this video. Apply a thin coat. Spread it evenly and then set aside for about 10 minutes for it to dry. Now buff to a shine with a cotton cloth. This is so rewarding and now we're at the main event. Finally, we get to install the lights. Thank you, watch these here and keep on blatant and creating.